Alright, welcome back to another episode of uh, Crusader Kings 3. Um, recon reconquering the uh, Iberian Peninsula. Uh, I think it's called uh, Reconquista, something like that. Uh, I'm, As I said uh, in the previous episodes, I'm going to botch uh, some pronunciations. I apologize in advance. Um... Okay, so we managed to get the Spanish thrones united, which includes Navarra. We managed to completely control the uh, Duchy of uh, Lyon. Um, <clears throat> currently no Duchy of Galicia or uh, uh, Coimbra. Co Coimbra. Um, and here's the Duchy of uh, Portugal. But... Um, you know, if we're going to reconquest the um, Iberian Peninsula, we have to start looking about uh, pushing to the south. Um, <clears throat> and, um, you know, in the, this playthrough, we basically managed to get uh, Navarra and um, uh, Aragon, Aragon um, pretty much when they were still this one province over here, Alto Aragon. Um... Who we have, uh, someone else in charge. Oh, no, no, that was, uh, Navera that I was looking at this. Yes, because, uh, uh our friend Countess Constanzia, Constanzia, Zia, Constanzia. Okay, she is the mother of, uh, Estefania Navara, which Estefania was married to the, uh, <coughs> the former king, and so... Garcias, also known as, I believe it was Anso the Fourth, back when Navarro was, you know, actually a kingdom. And somehow, when he died, his wife's mother was the first one in line. I don't really know uh, how that's gonna, how that plays out. If we look at this, it's equal high partition actually so Estefania is actually gonna be uh, uh, next in line which was you know Ansa the fourth's wife and then she is just regularly married to this guy which uh, is this actually another Jimena so she's actually married to uh, this count Anso it's basically the same name is a he, which who who is a bastard mind you um <clears throat> so yeah she's actually this is the mother so she was always married to him he's now married to Araman which is uh this guy over here so a very interesting kind of uh combination but uh, that's definitely uh, that's definitely uh, an incestuous uh, relationship um, going with uh, Araman Jimena, the Basque. I mean, it's fitting for the location because that was formerly uh, Navarra, who has a claim on Navarra. But the thing is, you know what? Zero de Jure Dutch is zero de Jure counties, right? So yeah, uh, we're not gonna. <clears throat> I can't imagine that we're gonna see. Um, um, you know, some kind of uh, claim or faction to install someone on the Navarrese throne because this is just, it's just done. Yeah, the duchy, only one person ever held this duchy and that was uh, Duke Ximeno. Ximeno? Ximeno? Zimeno? I think it was Zimeno. <clears throat> um, he was the last person to hold this duchy. But, uh, you know, we, we need to expand... Um, the to the south really or uh, to the uh, to the uh, east and uh, the big bottleneck right now is the fact that we're in debt okay and that's just mainly from our wars with trying to get uh, Alta Aragon under control and uh, try to get the uh, throne of Navarra take over Navarra because in the previous playthrough I had this region here uh, being taken over by France yeah, I didn't have an alliance with France. I I, uh, I lost an alliance with England, um, but I was just not able to uh, with the alliances that I had with like several stuff over here. 
uh, I was just not able to uh, deal with France. And I, I'm just noticing the Holy, Holy Roman Empire is butting against France here. So, a little interesting. No Burgundy? No, no Burgundy. All right. Last existed in... Uh, was demol it was uh, abolished on uh, 1032. Mo no note that most of these uh, are on January 1st. Probably because there's no well-documented dates. That's just what Paradox did. They just did, like, you know, first day of the year. Um, anyways, <clears throat> let's talk about actually... Uh, um, I guess the easiest thing to do is to run the clock... Uh, and this is kind of why I don't like hooks. Um, let's see what he says. To my liege, blessings upon you and your house. I have been a good vassal for you. Mm -hmm. But surely you understand that I have subjects of my own. My current contract is very restrictive. Surely you'll see the wisdom in making it more lenient. And besides, you owe me. Low levy contributions, which is, you know, I would have been fine with low gold, but low levy is not great. And contract negotiations have been blocked, and he uses his weak hook on me. I mean, that's, I don't know if I'd rather have you be installed on the, um, on the faction, but uh, low fuel taxes and low levies. Um... Yeah, we're going to have to fix that in the future. Um, uh, to compensate, we should have a vassal. I think you. Uh, you're, you're, you already are at negative 100, so this is an act of tyranny. Um, who else do we have a hook on? Just you. Okay. So that'll help compensate for uh, the levy reduction from, uh, although Portugal's quite a big duchy, it's quite a powerful force in here, so that's a little bit of a concern. Yeah, we really need to get out of this debt. Fine print, there we go. We've got another achievement. Uh, betrothal fulfilled. Ooh, I could uh, either get uh, a bunch of prestige, which I already have quite a bit of prestige, or I could use it to get out of debt. I don't know, I kind of want the Prestige. Because Prestige is good. Um, that'll help with, like, Opinion. I mean, Gold, you can always bribe people, but uh, Opinion is, uh, from Prestige, is, you know, for the for that uh, character's lifetime. It's more permanent. At least for that uh, character's lifetime, right? So, I... This is tempting, because, you know, we're going to get out of debt anyways. And so far, we've been somehow manage to uh, avoid uh, factions, which I don't want to jinx it, but somehow this playthrough, you know, I'm not dealing with constant faction wars so far. Um, so I, I think I'm going to take the Prestige, um, especially since Prestige, you know, is used for uh, wars, right? Um, you know, it, it's it's used for calling people in, and so just, just having more Prestige as a buffer it's decent. So can Sanchu Sanchu convert it to Galician, which kind of makes sense because this is a Galician area, and it looks like this is actually an Australian East area. Um, but uh, it's uh, currently controlled by the Aftasid uh, Duchy, Aftasid Emirate, by uh, Abu Bakr. Abu Bakr Abdallah. <clears throat> okay. So Count Diego is uh, been corresponding with your Chancellor Count Diego. So this is not actually Count Diego. This is uh, the Barcelona guy. Okay. Been corresponding with your Chancellor Count Diego, and I must say I have come to see you in a new light. Uh, perhaps you're even someone that I one day could be proud to call my friend. Well, 
I'd like, I'd like to take over Barcelona. The old. I'd like to take over Barcelona, but I think expanding to the south might be more attractive as an idea. Who's, is this Pisa? The most serene Republic of Pisa. Okay. The Holy Roman Empire is getting pretty huge. Yeah, the Palpacy is over here. So, I'll just run the clock. Okay, so we're out of debt. Low County Control in Zamora. Um... We're currently d trying to fix up Navarra. Um, is Zamora having like a debuff? Not really. Um, now these, you don't have a debuff, you don't have a debuff, you don't have a debuff. Uh, is there a control? I don't think so. I think I have to go in here like every time if I want to see control. Soria has pretty low control. These two have pretty low control. Um, yeah, and Leon's the capital, and that's doing fine. The, uh, Dehunneds, 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 um, I'm just gonna call them that, it's probably wrong, but, uh, these guys are kind of starting to become a powerful faction, that's typically how it goes. Um, Emir Ishmael II. <coughs> Um, I don't really have a good reason other than holy warring, right? Mm-hmm. It's a lot of, uh, piety. Even for a county? No, 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 don't, don't run the clock. Oh, man. Yeah, because we didn't get arrogant as, like, a kingdom. I guess I can't establish it as a kingdom, can I? I need seven. Oh, boy. I'd like to holy war for this county. Can I just be a sinner? Yeah, I'll become a sinner. What am I now? I'm, I'm, um... I'm currently dutiful. Okay. And below me is sinner. Okay, that's the same menu that this button uh, brings up. Um... Yeah, I don't... This, we're kind of tied. Um, for county. I don't know what's going on here. This is one county, right? No, it's not. It's two counties. But you control both of them. Um. Yeah. Uh. Well. If we go for Zargoza, that's a pretty, uh... Hmm. Okay, so I think what we should be doing is we should be trying to... You already have a can't claim on this county. Um... Okay, what is the difference between these colors? Um, so purples already have a claim. What's green? Uh, monthly progress 2.88, 6.24. So these like brown ones are higher probability. Base is three. Archbishop Raymond's learning skill, Raimondo's, Raimondo's learning, Raimondo's uh, learning skill, Archbishop Raimondo. Uh, yeah, pronunciation, yeah. The uh, holder of this is a, a different 
faith, and you're claiming a non-adjacent county. So this should be the fastest. Zargonza, um, or Zargonza, yeah, Z Zaragonza, Molen M Molina, um, Leda, and you're go which I'm more interested in. This is a pretty big chunk. This would be uh, a good chip out of the uh, hundreds down here. Uh, let's see. Do I want to fabricate a claim? Like, where do I want to fabricate a claim? I kind of want to. Like, who do I want to take down? I guess if I take down these guys. Um, I wanna can I just I wanna go for the whole duchy. Less than faithful. Yeah, I, I guess I can't go for the duchy of Aragon. I can't go for the duchy of Aragon. Ah I guess not, huh? I can't, I can't even go for the duchy. I need four, four, at least four of these guys, okay, to be able to create this duchy. Well, just basically this entire thing. I mean, I'd like to go for the entire duchy. How long? I'm not even gaining any piety. Um. Why am I not gaining any piety? Is just these temples are so bad? I mean, there's nothing here that I can build at a temple to give me piety. So, I don't know. Religious relations. My learning skill. Deceitful and cynical is killing me. And, uh, yeah, Reconquista. Reconquista, Quista, yeah, Reconquista. I think that's how you pronounce it. Cultural and regional innovation. Cassus Belly cost minus ten percent, and uh, it's known to the Castellians because that's a Castellian exclusive, isn't it? Yeah, Reconquista and uh, Caballeros. Because this is these have to be within this region, I believe. Um, man, I'm just uh, sitting around with my thumb up my, you know what? I, I, I okay. We're, we're fabricating a claim, right? Let's go fabricate a claim on uh, this region and start going after, start chipping away at the uh, the hooteds here, because this is not a legitimate. Uh, this is not a legitimate uh, duchy. The emirate of. Zaragoza. It's not a legitimate duchy. This should be the duchy of Aragon. So, uh, I guess we're just gonna run the clock. Bastard has been born. There is no longer the slightest doubt in my mind that my sister and rival Yuraka has given birth to a daughter, and we both know that I'm her father. Imagine being a rival to your sister, but still having children with her. Ah. Thankfully, Yuraka has kept quiet about me, and no one else knows the truth, at least for now. Must be very careful about this. So, uh, okay, so she's my spouse. She's not my. She's not pregnant yet. I could switch over my. Um, uh, I can't actually switch over. I'm locked in until probably October fourth, ten seventy one. So, just a couple months away? Followed by shadows. I see. Um, I'm not paying gold for a sway scheme. Okay, so here's our faction. Uh, Liberty faction wants to lower Cran authority. And it's basically everyone in here. Okay, so I guess we're going to switch over our sway scheme to... You. I wonder if learning secrets is probably a better 
idea. Um, Duke Nuno the second. Do you have any secrets? I don't know. Um, uh, let's see here. We could make you hate me less, but intrusive liege until 6 10 74 you blackmailed me yeah you have a lot of negatives so i don't think it's really worth it to put you on the council you also hate me i mean we have three powerful vassals that just basically hate me so i don't know uh where are you ah sure we'll take the money Twisted Mockery. Uh, iconoclasm um, has uh, appeared in the Duchy of Nordgal. So that's somewhere up here. Yeah. Yeah, what kind of Twisted Mockery of, of our faith is this? Um, yeah, Count Ermengol of... E Urgel paid 50 bucks, 50 gold, 50 ducats, and left the prison. Okay, that's fine. Uh, this, uh, this thing here. Is France gonna be able to... We're still allied with France. Let's hope that France is gonna be able to back us up here. Because this is gonna be pretty, uh, pretty sizable. And, uh, I, I don't think I can really, like, start dousing this really with, uh... Yeah, I don't have 150 gold to bribe people. 100 gold, that's pretty uh, cash intensive. No. 100 gold, everyone wants like 100 gold. <laughs> I don't know if I should focus on making the really angry people less angry, or focus on these slightly angry people, make them... Ruler embraces heresy. Oh my goodness. So, Iconoclasm, is this actually going to be taking off? Uh, that's quite sizable. Um, that's inside the uh, the Holy Roman Empire, so they must... Uh, they must really try to uh, keep this under control. Canterbury, uh, Cologne, and Santiago because of the, uh, the uh, chapel that was built there. Egypt's pretty strong. Uh, Ishmaelism, yeah, pretty strong. <laughs> so we're basically just waiting for this uh, revolt. Okay. I mean, I could uh, fabricate a fake hook on him. Maybe I should have, because uh, that didn't really help. He's ambitious and he's arrogant. Uh, that really helps. She wants to see it in the council. Short reign. Absolute crown authority. Yeah, absolute crown authority is a little harsh. I'd like to... Honestly, I might lower it to a high crown authority. Because I never really asked for absolute. Sancho Green... Oh, you know what? We should... Offer guardianship. Ooh, um... Is my wife pregnant? She is not. So we could actually switch over to... I don't know, medicine focus? And go after restraint if we really want to go with Sancho as the, uh, the heir. Okay, so she is pregnant. Okay, never mind then. Oh, boy. Okay, so we've been cheated upon.
So only a 21% chance of her actually being imprisoned. Okay, so that's not a good chance. So even though it's not a good chance, let's see if we can actually... Uh... Okay, good, 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 good. Ah, she's gonna have a bastard. My goodness. Oh, we could have been using her help, but I guess no available spouse. Um, unbelievable. I mean, it's not as bad as my last uh, Iron Man attempt. So I lose 20 dread, which doesn't matter because we have zero dread. We get high crown authority. Um, Rulers can change between all available uh, succession laws. Vassals cannot wage war against other vassals unless they use a hook on their liege. Vassals titles cannot be inherited by characters outside the realm. Um, all vassals who refuse title revocation or vassal retraction are considered criminals. And clan government vassals will provide at least 15% of levies and 5% of their income. Instead of the 10-10, uh, it's 15 to 5, which I'm fine with. I, I think levies, uh, to a certain extent, is more important if you're going to do a lot of warfare especially, but... Um, I don't know. I don't really want to start a... Uh, I, I, I'm personally... I know we really uh, somehow gunned the uh, Crown Authority. Um, we don't even have the proper innovation because we need Royal Prerogative, which I think I saw the uh, Andalusians here. Uh, I think they're... Yeah, they're, they're trying to go after the... Uh, They're trying to go after royal prerogative. Yeah, royal prerogative. Man, I said it once correctly. Um, prerogative. Prerog I think it's prerogative and not uh, pero. Prerogative. Per prerogative. Yeah, prerogative. Yeah, pronunciation. Very hard. Because usually I don't. I don't talk when I play this game. So. You know, when you actually start talking, you realize how you don't actually know how to pronounce these names. Reconquista and... yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm actually gonna go after this. 51 years. Um, this is... who... who... who's giving us this expo exposure? Scots? Communal government. They're going after communal government. Is that in, uh... Huh. Uh, I, th I think Battlements is probably, yeah, as much as I want Royal Prerogative, uh, Battlements is going to be definitely uh, faster research. And then uh, I don't know if we're really going to get exposure from the uh, Andalusians, but uh, I I'm going to go with uh, this. And uh, so that disbanded the faction. Okay. Um, we're actually losing piety? Why? Why are we losing piety? What did we have before that was, like, balancing it out? Were we, like, what's, what's going on here? Okay, more piety per month. Because of his learning skill. Your learning skill must not be amazing. No, it's not. Oh, man. This game. So this is actually going to be very slow, uh, Reconquista. Who's this? Duchess. You're the wife. Okay, you're still doing that. Uh, I don't want you doing that. Mm. Well, she gained 30 opinion of me. Well, at least she likes me. She looks pretty scared. Um, this is going to cost me gold. Um, 93 gold. Uh, 
on the Sheikdom of... Okay, so he's back on uh, doing piety stuff. Let's call in France. Because I don't know how much longer we're going to have France on our side with our wife being an adulterer. Uh, France is calling us to war. Uh, independence war. He's dealing with an independence faction. I'm going to focus on the war that I just declared. Which, honestly, uh, we might be able to handle their war. Okay, the Holy Roman Empire is going after Hungary and... Oh, the Holy Roman Empire, Heinrich the, uh, the Fourth, and um, King Solomon, Solomon, Solomon of Hungary. Yeah, that's a lot of fronts. Got a lot of action in a very short amount of time. Are you kidding me? Why is she my heir? She's, uh... Are you kidding me? Why is she my player heir? Oh my gosh. Should have had... Should have had my wife executed then, maybe? I don't know. Can I, can I execute you? Okay, I, I need to get out of the screen. Oh my goodness. Um, the player error. Okay, what what's going on here, game? I'm not playing as the uh, bastard. Okay. The bastard doesn't count as my child. Her child. Sancha counts as house because it counts as the mother house because th she's a bastard well Philippe <sighs> yeah I, I don't know I don't know how it's gonna play out but it looks like I'm just gonna go under Sancho's line at this point um, let's go uh uh, Diego becomes my friend. I got a weak hook on him. And Pedro becomes my rival. Twenty-six percent chance that I'll piss them both off. Um, I'm more friends with Pedro than Diego, but uh... oh, great! They both like me. Amazing. That's awesome. Okay, I'll take that. Okay, let's see uh, what's going to go here. The petty little uh, 900 troops. Not really concerned. Uh, this is an independence war from uh, France. Chancellor upsets Sheik Yusuf. I mean, that's fine. Okay, these guys are just going around in circles. Make 
can fool myself. Okay. Let's go after these uh, these guys here. There you go. Okay, so this is one war done. Um, I have a truce with him, unfortunately. Um, and while we're here, you can focus on converting them to Catholicism. And after that, we're going to... Yeah, switch the culture back to Castellian. So, we're losing against uh, Heinrich the Fourth, which I don't- I can't really assist France that much. I don't know who's uh, fighting for Heinrich the Fourth and who's- uh, this is probably the independence faction. I don't know if this is Hungary? Duke- this is probably independence faction. Okay, let's go uh, raid whatever this is. Can I attack these guys? Since it's just like a petty, small treatment is successful. Yeah, I have no problem with Eureka. Oh my god, I don't want a new fem family member soon. She's ill. New churches established. Religious reconstruction, okay. I have to keep an eye on my wife at this point. I want to milk the alliance that we have with France as much as I can without having to deal with my wife at this point. What is this? Uh, Sancho, okay. Sancho, what's your focus? Marshall? I don't actually know how useful Marshall is because I don't think we're going to actually deal with these guys that much. I'm going to disband these because this is just not worth it to help France. Uh, at this point, we've we've actually done 100% contribution. So they can't be that mad. I don't want to check. Um. Okay, Marshall, we need a Marshall. Ooh, ooh. Um, Constantina, you're not very good. Constancia, not very good. I... I know you're mad at me. Um, she's probably more worth it just to... Rye, Count Diego, I'd like to have a much more competent, uh, I 
Uh, how good are you with uh, stewardship? Not great. I don't know. I don't want to swap that around. Um, domain limit. Um, it's probably this because of this region, isn't it? Rodrigo, um, you're in jail. So this barony, this is. Here, I'll give you this county. That should uh, help also, you know, some things process. Learning perk. Um, let's see here, open-minded and scientific are not bad, as well. Um, yeah, I don't really mind going after you. Can I actually? I can't arrange a marriage on this screen, but I think this screen um, inside my diplo range. A child. Uh, female. Mm -hmm. How old is, uh, your six? Let's see if I can actually arrange a marriage here with Sancho. Am I de Montgomery? Um, a lot of 15, 14 year olds. Hmm. Yeah, claims is actually not a bad idea. Dia Eureka, she's my prisoner. She is the daughter of Shimena and Yeah Yeah. Can I go back? Can I ransom you? For ten gold. I'll do that. Uh anyways. Finding character. Um, let's see. Not in prison status. Uh, unmarried, obviously. Um, preferably not Jimena. Um, where's the? Where is the uh, inheritable traits? Is there no inher- I thought there was an inheritable trait option. Really? There definitely is- Wait a sec. There's definitely one to see. Imprisonment? Why is there- Like, I can search for- Yeah, if I want genius. Genius. Uh, intelligent. 1k Reinhardt. Man, I can't offer... Yeah, uh, is he... He's not in my court, can't, is he? He's a, he's a guest. Ah, oh, I should be able to marry you off. Oh, that's because she's already considering a proposal from me. Okay. Okay, let's take a look now. Arrange marriage between you and... Um... See, here I have traits inheritable. No, 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 no. Let's, let's go from here. Arrange marriage. I mean, I just don't want to... 
marry him off to, you know, ra some random person. Um, what a, what a pain. Like this one, obviously I won't be able to... I actually don't even have a marriage option here. This one I do. Um... Will not accept. Uh, whatever. Uh, I could always go for my own child, you know, like a normal person would. Mm, she still has that fertility, um, uh, yeah, 1084. Okay, I might actually, I might not go with Sancho. I'd love to um, invite him to my court, but uh, I can't do that, and I think uh, Constant uh, Cena, or whatever her name is, she's going to make my life uh, pretty difficult, and I'm noticing that I'm way over time for this episode. This is a very boring episode, I apologize, but uh, I guess that's how it is.